And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Wow, temperature roller coaster and a big, big drop behind this latest cold front. These numbers represent at the time of this recording the 24 hour temperature change. And look up to the north. Guymon, for example, 35 degrees colder than the previous day. And yesterday, they were sitting at 35 degrees warmer than the previous day. So yeah, big temperature swings really, really happening here with this latest cold front. All right, let's talk about the forecast for Wednesday. It's a cold, cold start. We're going to bottom out in the mid to upper teens for a good portion of the region. So after a chilly start, it's still a cool afternoon despite a fair amount of sunshine. The wind does swing back around from a northerly direction to a more southerly direction, and we get into the mid 40s, but mid 50s is average for this time of year. So high temperatures, big range. All these numbers in the 50s and 60s were ahead of the cold front that pushed through the northern part of the panhandle early in the day. But look at Childress, 72 ahead of that cold front that dropped them into the 30s. So north winds behind the front as we go through the day on Wednesday, they eventually swing back around to the south. Not particularly windy in the morning, which is good news given that it will be so cold, just a tiny little wind chill. But you see the winds pick up a little bit out of the south, back to that 10 to 20 mile an hour range for much of the day on Wednesday. Early morning temperatures again, even low teens in some spots, but mid to upper teens, low 20s. Children starting the day at 25 after hitting low 70s. Man, that is amazing stuff. Temperatures up and down. What's going on here? Well, we got a couple of cold fronts coming through. The storm track is basically across the northern half of the country. See the little trough of low pressure, the little blue lobe in the northern portion of the country. That's the one that helped push the cold front through that just came through. Here comes another one as we get through the latter part of the week. You can see it in the Pacific Northwest, and there it is in the northern plains. Again, no rainfall. All the storms are staying off to our north, but the cold air keeps being reinforced. Here's another lobe of low pressure, a trough of low pressure that gets near the panhandle by the first part of next week. That's yet another cold front that pushes on through. Here's a better way to show that. You can see the temperatures up and down. Wednesday's highs mid 40s. Then by Friday, we're in the 70 degree range. Back down into the 40s on Saturday, back into the mid 60s on Sunday. It is crazy time on the temperatures. The winds swing back around to a more southerly direction again on Wednesday. You can see the arrows pointing that direction. Here's the seven day supercast. Mid 40s, a little breezy, not particularly windy for the day on Wednesday. We're up to 62 by Thursday. 70 degrees by the end of the work week. How about that? Low 70s in some spots on Friday. Then we go back down again, only 48 on Saturday, 66 on Sunday, Monday 67. Another cold front on Tuesday, Monday into Tuesday with a high at 50 and beyond the seven day. Whew, it is pretty quiet. 